this is where we stayed in uh, Chanakale for two nights. This was only 30 euro per night for a full apartment. Just look at this. Also, a second room with the king size bed. So guys, today we go to Troya. I have some bad news, some good news. So see you later, good adventures. Good morning, good morning. Here we are, we leave Chanakale right now. We go to Troya. That is on the way to Izmir, as you can see. But then we'll come back to Chanakale and go to, um, to the border with Bulgaria. And that's some bad news to Edirne. That's some really bad news, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you about this in a few minutes. But just hold on. So stay, stay here. See you. Mwah. We are going to Troya. Domino's Pizza. <laughs> I worked at Domino's. <laughs> That's why I'm so excited. That's a really beautiful one. This is on the road to Troya. Oh my god, it's uh, another bridge. <laughs> it's quite tall. Really tall, actually. <laughs> it smells like weed again. Like, I'm not sure what is next to me, like what plants are around, but it smells like weed again. Let's see the ruins of Troya, or at least where they believe are the ruins of uh, Troya. As, uh, yeah, as you know, it's just a legend, but this is the place where they believe Troya was supposed to be. I only expect some, I don't know, ruins, some small walls, some archaeological uh, digging, but that's all. I don't expect too much to see. I hope at least it's gonna be nice. Throw, yeah. Oh guys, I had like a good pickup, I mean a bad pickup line. Can I build Achille? Because you're already my heel. <laughs> Next time when you when a girl will refuse you or slap you, it's not my fault, okay? If you use this. Not my fault. I like this. <laughs> Gratis is good. It's way, way bigger than I actually expected. <laughs> and you could see that here was a city. Maybe it was Troy, maybe not, but here was a, quite a big city and it has more layers like roman byzantine greek it's interesting <laughs> hi <laughs> We are back on the bikes, we are returning to Chanakale. Troy was so nice, it surprised me so pleasantly and yeah, I didn't expect it to be so big <laughs> uh, and I was so happy to see people that are actually working to either find out new things or just to preserve it but yeah, it, it's really nice so guys, if it happens to be around Chanakale, just visit Troy, it's really, I really recommend it, it's really worth it so now we're gonna hop in the ferry because as you can see this is Asia that's Europe we are in the Dardanelles train that's Europe that's where we have to go 
So basically we have to pass the Dardanelle train. We took the same ferry yesterday, but only like without the motorcycles. Because we had to visit something on the other side, some, the citadel and yeah, some other things. Mega beach, we've been to the mega beach. It's such a small beach, but so, so nice because yeah, being not that many people, it's a vibe, you know? I got friends with uh, a Turkish guy. He was from Istanbul, but his father was working here. He was also a nice dude. What should I do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Vroom, 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 vroom. Scurge e de la aerul conținat Haide băi băieți, așa Two motorcycles Oh my god, I'm sweating so much. <laughs> it's hot. I hope it's the right theory. I don't have any clue. <laughs> I think it's this one. This is the one that we took yesterday, but I don't have any clue. He has fish? Fishy, fishy. He has fish. He's transporting fish. <laughs> At least we're gonna be the first ones to get in and to get out as well. I don't have enough space. Look at this! Am I still recording? Yes! So sad I didn't think of making a time warp or time lapse or something uh, from the ferry. I thought literally in the last two minutes I was like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to try it anymore. I'm still new and noob. I'm still new and noob in this thing. Like a small newbie, okay? But I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Oh my god, I want this for like 300 kilometers or for all day, all day long, I want this right on the seaside. It's awesome, it's just so nice. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm also gonna try to explain you what happened and why we don't go to Izmir anymore because I told you I have some bad news, some good news, mostly bad, but whatever. Uh, basically, what happened is the fact that Greece is a red country because of the high number of corona cases. And that means that Turkey decided to cancel all the ferry uh, that are going from Turkey to Greece and basically to get from Izmir to Athens I was supposed to get like a small ferry from Chesne to Kios The first ferry, the, the one that's from Turkey for, to, to Greece was supposed to take only like 15 minutes like this one and the other one, it's, I don't know, was overnight, it was like several good hours um, we didn't have an issue with the with the long one. However, the short one, yes, 
that was the problem because it passes basically the borders from Turkey to Greece as I said the island is part of Greece and the government decided to cancel all the ferries, all the routes that do this so yeah we couldn't go to Athens we couldn't go to Greece anymore because of this so our decision was okay at least let's try something else let's try to be still adventurous and on the way back we decided to go to uh, Bulgaria again <laughs> and by going to Bulgaria we wanted to go to Sofia and we'll do a pit stop on Plovdiv and that's kind of all today we go to the closest city to the border with Bulgaria it's called Edirne we stay there one night it's just like a transit here tomorrow we pass the border after we pass the border uh, we'll go to Plovdiv we stay there two nights then we go to Sofia and I don't know maybe we stay there a bit more I don't know three four nights depends because we don't really have any plan anymore I, I think we're gonna enjoy Plovdiv and um, and Sofia as well but yeah, it was, was nice, a nice circle, it's a nice circular route to, to go from Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey, then pass Greece and then go up and maybe straight, yeah, but yeah, it's not always going to plan, it's not something that um, we could do better, but now let's see what Edirne and this road brings us, and guys, I wasn't that adventurous today, I want to go a bit further away uh, yeah anyway it's fine like we we fix it let's say so let's see let's see what's gonna happen bye bye old bees oh god look at this I literally see on the map how we go to that goal to the left and then we'll be on the other side right there just look at this we're gonna be so nice I mean at least this is you know what this this is showing us that okay maybe didn't go to Greece maybe didn't enjoy everything that was supposed to be there but at least you are enjoying something else so different adventures bring different pleasures right just look at this it's beautiful oh motocross the jump there <laughs> yeah bash. slow down Andre is this the coast police coastal safety yes yes I was right Oh, 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 I like I like this turn. Amazing, yeah. Oh, in Mausoleu? Ah. Hey, shut the door, pose. Gonna be a lot of cutting here, I guess. If I want to let it uh, in a video, or I can talk about something interesting. What should I talk about? My love life, my uh, my dreams, my aspirations, myself, philosophy, Omer. Oh, what do you want to talk about? I'm gonna talk about passions. There's hobbies. How would you define a passion? What, what does it make a difference? Or what does it make you say this is a passion, it's not a hobby? I was having a talk with somebody about this and uh, she was saying that a passion is when you try to be the best. All the time you try and try and try to be the best. And I didn't really agree with this because for me I don't think a passion is something that I want to be the best in. I mean, I want to be better but I will never think to be the best. How would you define it? Because I'm thinking about the type of joy that it brings me, um, type of pleasure when I do this, why I do this, things like this. Because a hobby, for example, for me playing drums is a hobby, or playing guitar or things like this, I would consider it a hobby. I, I want, don't want to be the best, I'm, I will never be the best, because they are like so many drummers that, that do this like it's impossible to be the best uh, but I do this for a kind of pleasure and also for the benefits uh, that brings like the, that music brings to you but I don't really think it's a passion like it, it's a kind of joy the playing drums it's a joy that brings me 
but it's a very big difference between the kind of joy that the motorcycling is bringing me. Uh, for example, another thing that kind of recently became a passion, and I think it's a passion, it's um, bouldering. I started climbing, indoor climbing mostly, and I think it's a passion. Like, I don't necessarily want to be the best, I just want to improve myself more and more because I like, I really like these things. I, I like climbing a lot, like I want to, to become better and better every day, I want to improve, I watch videos online, how to do that, I, I follow a lot of Instagram pages with this, but it's not like I will ever become the best, but it's a passion after the joy that brings me, after every boulder that I manage to climb, it's, it's, it brings me a lot of happiness, you know? The question is, my little bees, what would you consider a passion or a hobby? How do you define the difference between these two? write in the comments below I, I i'm really curious to see more perspectives because i talked about this only with one person we didn't really agree we stopped um, this subject for a while and yesterday we talked about this again and somehow she changed a bit her mind um, in the perspective that okay in a passion maybe you want to become the best you'll never succeed because also another problem that i was saying before is hey you you don't you never have a best in something like okay maybe for a while somebody is gonna be the best for one day for one week or something but there is never the best they it's it's more people are really good in that but i don't think it's one person that is the best so yeah your your goals are kind of even vague if you're thinking about this and if i really want to talk a bit more about this um I was confused about this some, some years ago and I was playing piano and guitar I was considering music a passion, you know? And I really wanted to be the best and because I couldn't be the best in those and because I was like a weak person at that point, I guess I was just stopping from trying, from playing music because I was like, yeah, what's the point? I will never be the best and that's not healthy, that's toxic, you know? This kind of thinking, it's not, not good for anyone So... Yeah, I, I changed my mind in this perspective, like I, I'm not thinking anymore to try to be the best. Um, I just want to enjoy everything I'm doing. And that's the same with motorcycling, that's the same with traveling. How can you be the best in traveling? Traveling the most countries, that's, that's bullshit, you know? I don't want to travel the most countries. I want to have some little travels from time to time and enjoy the most of them. Like enjoy as much as I can from, from those trips. It's a complex philosophical, I guess, uh, subject. So I'm waiting for you in the comments. Please let me know. Oh my god, that's the bridge? Is that the bridge? I think that's the bridge that we saw the last days. They are building it. The 1915 bridge. It's a lot of history that happened on 16th of March 1915. For this place, uh, at least, for Chanakale. Băi, e incredibil, e masiv, e... are 316 metri Pentru că aici au fost, se cheamă podul 1915 Pentru că aici, în Ceanacale, pe timpul războiului, au fost niște bătălii În 1915 Și pe 3, uh, scuze, pe 16 martie, adică 16-3, știi? Au fost nu știu ce bătălie mai importantă Și de asta are podul 316 metri și se cheamă podul 1915 Dar e masiv, e efectiv, e... Uriaș, adică se va picioare, nu, nu știu dacă am văzut vreodată clădiri de 316 metri Și văd nebunia asta de pod Ia, că se uită, mamă mea, dar sunt niște... <laughs> ce tare! Se distrează băieții Fără niște tinere așa, care și luat o dace și îi dădeau cu 130 în gură Nici nu știu dacă, da, cum n-ai va ajunge dacea să la 130 a, și știi că ți-a... Ia uite, o și turează, mă auzit cum o turată-o. <laughs> uite, să uită Daicum la mine și râde. A, că au auzit Dacia, o gen, am făcut vrum, vrum, vrum la Dacie. A, mor de râs. We have 100 km left to Edirne. It's kind of boring the road, like, I mean, after the point we got out from the uh, seaside and you couldn't see the water anymore, it just became boring like just this what you see right now i see for 
I don't know, 80 kilometers. And I think I'm gonna see it for the next 80. Yeah, so I will continue my boring next 100 kilometers. And I will see you later with the new updates. With updates, updates, updates. So, um, this is this. <laughs> see you later. I don't know why, but I, I, I guess, I just guess because of the heat, I feel like sleeping. I mean, I'm oh, literally almost falling asleep. And my father said exactly the same thing, like he's also quite uh, tired, like he feels like he was gonna fall asleep. Su su su. Su su. to have an intercom listen to music and uh, it's so easy makes everything nice you can also talk with friends or yeah it's easier to focus on the uh, directions i don't know oh these guys i don't know how they can work in this heat with long pants oh yes i forgot to to mention this i'm not sure but i i uh, after seeing so many people without helmet, I think here is not mandatory to have helmet. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking uh, right now in my mind if I could ever ride motorcycle without helmet. Like sometimes without a jacket, it's fine, but without a helmet, I think I I don't know. Man, I need something to protect this fucking watermelon. Like the 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 ground is quite hard, you know. If I hit the ground with this watermelon it's just gonna pop it's not okay where are we going 